clearly Apple wants it, its cake and to eat it too. But the Federal Trade Commission is hoping to stop Apple mid-bite. Just hold off on the fork here. The FTC is launching an investigation into Apple's dealings with competing streaming services in its app store, particularly, and here's where it gets weird, Apple's 30% fee charged to subscription services, read competitors, who sign up new users through Apple's app store. Let's bring in Lee Hawkins. He's the Wall Street Journal celebrity business reporter, along with Billboard editor Jem Aswad. And the reason, Lee, is the celebrity reporter here sitting here is because <laughs> Jay-Z has a huge investment, personal, emotional, in one of the competitors, and that's yes. Tidal. Are you counting Tidal out because Apple joined the, the streaming party here? I'm not counting them out because if you look at what they've done, despite negative publicity, since January, they've gone from 500,000 to 1 million subscribers. And I think the end game for this company is probably a liquidity event. The, the fact is, is they don't have to overtake Apple or Spotify or Pandora. All they have to do is get to a point where they're an att attractive acquisition target and all of these 18 owners that own the company will See including Kanye, a windfall, and, right. and Madonna, Jem, Spotify, and Pandora have been around a lot longer than Apple streaming. Suddenly, Apple jumps in and is charging all of these organizations, these companies, a lot more to just be on the website, to the app site. Correct. correct. So, do you think the Federal Trade Commission has a case here? Um, they could. Uh, Apple lost its case when it came to eBooks a while back. That's right. But what they have to prove is they have to prove that Apple monopolizes this market, you know, which you can't really say because of Droid and other services. And they also have to prove that um, uh, that they're uh, uh, monopolistic and um, I'm, I'm blanking on the word, but yeah, you know, and you know right. that that there are violations there. So it's a long way to go. Lee, is it is it anti-competitive to charge them so much that they, Apple knows that in turn, Tidal and Spotify will have to charge their people more, their customers more, and therefore Apple becomes a more attractive. Look at here, the prices here. You see, nine ninety nine for Apple, right? I, I think they're set up the way that they're set up. They're they're it's very very convenient for them to possibly do this, but they have not shown results yet. So if they become dominant in the streaming industry, potentially, yeah, they will be an anti-competitive, but Jen? not yet. I use Spotify. So do I. So do I. My kids love Spotify. It's so easy. Well, but they're, but they're all the same, you know, to a degree. You know, I mean, the streaming services, when you get right down to it, they're not that different from each other. And what Apple's doing to make themselves stand out is the radio service, Beats One, you know, which is splashy and sexy and has lots of exclusive and things like that. And that is the way that I think that they're going to make themselves stand out, as well as converting people who don't really know what streaming is yet. You know, Apple is very good at forcing people's What's Jay-Z thinking right now? I think Jay-Z is looking at the value of these live concerts that he's streaming and sport events and all of that, and he's saying, we're going to have a chance to own that content eventually, which makes us more valuable as an acquisition target. That's where the artists are going to make their money, not on royalties, but on actually selling this company sometime down the line. And link it into some Oculus Rift virtual reality and then you win <laughs> suddenly. So so even though Apple enters, Jim, you say don't count the other guys out. No, I don't think so. There's there's enough room for everybody for now. We'll be watching the Federal Trade Commission investigation. Thanks to Wall Street Journal's Lee Hawkins and Billboard's Jim Aswan. Thank you very much. Close